people were impressed by the authority with which Jesus taught. The Old Testament prophets had taught using God's delegated authority. And the scribes and Pharisees taught quoting Moses, the prophets, and the great rabbis. But Jesus taught using his own authority and knowledge as God. Actually, he got the authority from his father, God. The second part of today's gospel describes a healing by exorcist, which Jesus performed in the synagogue. We are told how Jesus, using his authority as God, cast out the devil by just one command, be silent and come out of him. The demon obeyed at once, throwing the man it had possessed to the floor in the midst of the people in the synagogue on its departure. The people were impressed with Jesus' power and authority that could command even evil spirits. Actually, the evil spirits recognized Jesus Christ as the real Son of God. They affirmed it very many times. Our faith is based on the divinity of Christ, demonstrated by his miracles, which in turn give authority and validity to his teaching and promises. At the time of Jesus Christ, very many people gathered around him while he was in the valley, while he was in the mountain, while he was on the boat or wherever he was, people were gathering around him. Why? Because they know that there is something extraordinary power in him. They saw the miracles which he performed by uh, miraculously feeding the people and healing the people and all those things they were experiencing. So let us read and uh, the authoritative word of God through the Holy Scripture every day and assimilate uh, what it contains. In our illness, let us confidently approach Jesus the healer with trusting faith first, then go to the doctors who may be the ordinary instruments of Jesus Christ to cure us. So they are working. Doctors and nurses are working. Medicines are applying to our body. But the healing comes from God. Healing. Real healing. So they can't. Anybody in this world can uh, heal a person. The healing power comes from God. That is invisible. So when that power comes upon us, we will be healed from all kinds of our infirmities, all kinds of our spiritual and physical illness. He is that much powerful and his hands are still mighty. His words are still powerful. It's still working, maybe through each one of us.